Now let's take a look at why this S-400 is a game changer air defense system for India. The strike range of this is 400 kilometers. As far as the radar range is concerned, that is about 600 kilometers. The target speed is 4,800 kilometers per hour. The altitude is 30 kilometers. The type, of course, is that it operates with four missiles. Deployment time is about five minutes and it can track 100 airborne targets. It can target fighters, cruise and ballistic missiles and drones as well. So these are some of the key features of the S-400. Now, India Today was in fact the only channel which visited production facility of S-400 in Russia's St. Petersburg. India Today's executive editor Shiva Roor was the only one who visited that factory so far, our big exclusive. I'm standing inside the test facility uh, of the location outside St. Petersburg where India's S-400 anti-air missile systems will be produced. This is the Northwest Production Center of the Almaz Ante, the concern that uh, will be manufacturing the S-400 for India. Where I am right now, the first entry point that we've been brought to is the very important test center where Every single element of the S-400, remember it's not just the missile launcher, there are command vehicles, there are radar vehicles of every kind. Like the one behind me is a place where there is rain and dust simulation that takes place. And now for a first look at a brand new S-400 launcher vehicle rolling out. So this fully constructed S-400 launcher system has just emerged from that uh, cold simulation facility where very, very cold conditions are imposed on every single element of the S-400 uh, that rolls out of the Almaz Ante Northwest Production Facility here on the outskirts of St. Petersburg. The $5.43 billion deal that India signed will be executed right here at this facility near St. Petersburg. But the implications of the deal have reverberated across the world. Russia dismisses US irritation over the deal, but it remains a diplomatic tightrope for India. Now there's a very good reason why the S-400 finds itself in the middle of all these diplomatic controversies because make no mistake there's absolutely no dispute over the capabilities of the S-400. I mean this is an air defense system that is widely acknowledged by people and experts all over the world to be one of the finest air defense systems ever built and certainly one of the finest air defense systems uh, in operations today. Uh, so. When you talk about the tangle between the United States and Turkey or the continuing diplomatic uh, sort of tightrope between India and the United States, uh, it all comes down to the fact that this is a system that is widely seen to be highly capable. Uh, you know, it impacts the balance of power in many places that it is deployed uh, and has the capacity to do that uh, in the future as well. And that's one of the reasons why you see the United States having a problem with the S-400, uh, you know, being bought by its allies. First Turkey and now India. Uh, the United States has supplied billions of dollars worth of equipment to India, but the S-400 uh, somehow touches a very, very raw nerve in terms of technology. There are questions deeper than just diplomatic. One of the biggest is whether the S-400 can properly plug into India's already diverse air defense network. As we report from here at the Almazante production facility outside St. Petersburg, one of the big questions that remains slightly unanswered is this high capability system uh, is going to be plugged into an air defense network in India that has been patchy at best. Uh, it has been ad hoc in many ways. 
there are still very very many gaps and while the S400 will provide a great degree of cover across uh, the country and provide protect protection against all manner of air threats remember that India's air defense network has many other elements and many other systems as well Bureau report India today